passive movement pattern for the spinal gland reflex. Have the child lying on the side, hips and knees bent a little, and we want uh, the bottom shoulder and hip directly below the above shoulder and hip. What we're going to do for this is hold on to the shoulder and hip um, slightly from above and below and push them together. So as we push them together the spine curves towards down a little and then we're going to pull them apart which is going to bring the spine over that way. And so it's pushing together, pulling apart, pushing together, pulling apart. Don't need to use a lot of strength, it's just getting a bit of leverage through the hip and the shoulder so that the spine moves and the proprioceptive input, the input from the muscles moving, is being stimulated so the child can feel themselves moving in that way. Do this for 30 to 60 seconds, then turn the child over onto the other side and do the same from the other side.